Okay, for a look at the hotspot actions, I'm just going to go ahead and create some labels here so we can create some functionality. So I'll click on the first label and I'm just going to call this Disable. I'll press OK. I'm going to bring that over here and press Control D to duplicate this a few times. We'll go ahead and change some of these labels. So I'm going to change this one to say Enable. I'll change this third one to say half size and I'll change the next one to say full size. Okay, so I'll just go ahead and align these and distribute them just for neatness. And now we can add our actions. So I'll double click on the disable button here or label object if you like. And I'll go into the actions panel in the on click tab and click on the add action button. So from the hotspot category I'm going to choose the hotspot set enabled action and double click on that and in the enabled field I'm going to choose false. Okay? And then I'm going to press finish and I'm going to press OK. I'm going to do the same thing for the enabled button here, but I'm going to go ahead and set that to true. So I'm going to double click on the enable uh, label. I'm going to go into the actions dialog here in the on click tab, click on add action, and I'm going to choose hotspot set enabled. I'm going to double click that, but I'm going to leave it set to true this time. Okay? So I'll press finish and OK. And we've got one button to disable our hotspot and one to enable it. And we've got to um, actually create an action on that hotspot so that we can test when it's been clicked. We'll do that last, and that will indicate when it's enabled or disabled by whether or not we can click on it. Okay, let's go ahead and double click the half size button here we know the size of our hotspot object is 320 by 245 so we're going to split that in half so I'm going to go into the actions panel in the on click event click on add action and I'm going to use the hotspot set size action Okay, I'm going to set that to half of that size so 160 by 245 and I'm going to press finish And in this case I'm going to click and drag over this action and right click copy put that in my clipboard then I'll press OK and now I can double click on the full size label and in the actions dialog here I can just go ahead and paste that into the on click tab by right clicking and pasting now I'll just set this number back to the full size number of 320 and we're done I'm gonna go ahead and press OK and all we have to do is add a test action to this um, hotspot here so we know when someone's clicked on it and that's going to be a dialog message and actually I've gone ahead and added that in advance but I'll just show you what I did I've added in the on click event a dialog message action with just a little message here where it says click yep so we know when someone's clicked on that hotspot object so I'm going to press OK and we'll go ahead and preview our project press F5 to preview okay and we'll go ahead and click on our hotspot and you see we get our dialog message now I'm going to press OK and I'm going to disable our hotspot by clicking on this disable button and I'm going to click over here again you'll see now we no longer get that dialog message box no matter how many times I click until I click the enable button to re-enable our hotspot now when I click on there I get the dialog message again so as you can see this uh, set enabled action is working here in two ways to disable and enable our hotspot object so now with our hotspot object enabled, I'm going to go ahead and click on the half size button and I'm going to click over this purple button. You can see that I don't get the dialog message because the hotspot no longer extends over top of these two buttons here because it's gone down to half size. However, if I come over here and click, I do get the dialog message because the hotspot object still extends over that portion of the, the images. So the hotspot object is around this big right now. If I click on full size, now I can click on this purple button and get the dialog message because again the hotspot object encompasses those buttons. So basically we're toggling this hotspot bet between being half width and full width by using these two buttons. So that demonstrates the hotspot actions and they're pretty simple. You can go ahead and fool around with them a bit and you should be able to figure them out almost immediately.